Hello everyone and welcome to Lot of Tech once again. So if you remember a month back I had published a video on my video editing PC showcasing different kind of components that I have used in this particular build along with the price. In that video I had also told you that as my budget was getting very high so I had to compromise on small little things and one of those things also included my PC cabinet. So the cabinet that I purchased at that time was this Antec NX310 cabinet which costed me around 3500 or 3200 rupees and recently I was thinking to upgrade my cabinet and when I checked the prices on Amazon I felt I, I just came to know that uh, the prices of in all the PC cabinets and all the electronic components have gone very high so I was planning to buy an NZXT cabinet but once again I dropped my plan and I thought why not to upgrade my existing cabinet so the cabinet that you are looking at is the same NX310 cabinet but I actually modified my cabinet into this black and white combination which looks somewhat like NZXT so if you are someone who is uh, bored with your old cabinet and you want to give it a new look on a budget then definitely uh, you should watch this video and let me tell you that this entire modification has costed me somewhere around 700 rupees so let's start the video so i'll first begin by disassembling the pc so i'll remove these four screws and take away the tempered glass panel now if you're someone who is not too confident about reassembling the pc then it's advised that you should use these kind of masking tape along with numbers and put these tapes on all the cables that are going into various terminals on the motherboard after that you can click a pick and later on you can use the same pick as a reference this is definitely going to make your job more easy After you have removed all the components from the motherboard we will also remove this front RGB panel and uh, we will just utilize the RGB strips that are attached to this panel and then we are also going to remove the hard disk case because as we are going to uh, close this PC from the front so we need a proper ventilation and also we are going to remove this front RGB fan and this is how your PC is gonna look like after you have removed each and everything. In order to make the front panel, I have ordered this white colored acrylic sheet from Amazon. So first you need to measure the width and length of your front part of your PC cabinet and then you have to cut your acrylic sheet accordingly. The toughest part of this project is to actually cut the acrylic sheet. So just uh, I'll recommend that you watch some videos uh, before how to cut your acrylic sheet and what are the different kind of tools that you would be needing in order to make a perfect cut. After cutting the acrylic sheet, the next step is to paste these magnets on the acrylic sheet. So I got these 15 magnets for a price of around 200 rupees from Amazon. And these are very strong magnets and I'm the adhesive that I'm using to paste these magnets is Heatex by Fevicol. You can also go for normal Fevicol and paste all these magnets on the acrylic sheet. Keep it aside and let it dry. The next step is to actually spray paint the cabinet. So first of all, I'll once again use this um, masking tape and I'll put this tape on all the areas on which I don't want any sort of paint. And after that, I'm going to paint the entire cabinet in this gloss white. After your spray painting is completed, this is how your cabinet is gonna look like and I think it looks much more beautiful than what it was looking earlier. And now once again, it's the time to reassemble the PC.
the last step of this process is to uh, place those led strips and what i'm checking here is what is the kind of light that is coming out of the acrylic sheet depending upon the distance of those led strips from the acrylic sheet in my case i decided to keep the acrylic sheet as near to the led strips because then only i'm going to get that rounded bullet kind of glow effect on the acrylic sheet it is completely very subjective and you can choose your own effect so friends this was all about a modification of this pc and after this modification i think it looks way, uh, way much cool than what it was looking earlier in the entire black and uh, i still have this a small piece of acrylic sheet left with me and if i'm able to cut this piece into some precise dimension and if i'm also able to mold this piece into a certain shape then definitely i'm going to fix this piece inside the pc cabinet the video would be getting too long for it so i decided to skip that part but i'll definitely update once it is done this video was not just about saving money but it was all about learning new things it was the first time i have disassembled my pc and assembled it back again and that satisfaction of you know disassembling the pc assembling it back again and then making it work on the very first time by hitting that power button was really satisfying do let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below and make sure you subscribe to the channel because that's just enough for me i'll see you in the next one take care